G'day guys and welcome back to another episode of this Nathan Lyon career mode in Don Bradman Cricket 17 and uh, as you can see in the last episode didn't quite go to plan um, South Africa they're only trailing by four and they're only uh, three wickets down so they're looking pretty good um, De Villiers got out on 113 um, from some magnificent bowling from Gary once again uh, Hashem Ambla he's on 44 um, oh well, you can see our stats there one for 30 I can't quite remember how many overs I've bowled. Uh, I don't think it was too many. But yeah, the figures aren't too bad uh, so far. Um, this episode might be a little bit longer than usual, um, but I'm sure that won't be a problem for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's resume the gameplay and maybe even win the series 3-0. Let's do it. Right, yeah, we're back at Blunston Arena. Here we go. <clears throat> let's hope this first ball can produce something. Maybe even a wicket. Oh, not too bad. It's uh, stuck. He's not going the best at the moment. Seven overs. None for 45. And just as I say that, he gets a bloody wicket. What a time to watch it. <laughs> Gee, that's Bahad. No, it's Amla too. What a beautiful bowl. I was just saying how he hasn't got a wicket yet. And then the exact, that exact moment he gets a wicket. Amla surely won't review it. I could hear it from out in the slip. There he is. He's gone. 44. No 50 for you, buddy. And, uh, yeah, good job, Starkey. That's so unexpected. Temba Bavuma comes out of the crease. Last couple of games, he's had a bit of form. I think he's got a couple of 50s for himself. But uh, we might as well watch this ball. You never know. Starkey get two in a row. Oh, no, not this time. I think he's edged that. I'm pretty sure I've heard a nick. That one's gone as well. Bavuma, he's out. He was looking all right, 10 off 5, and we've got another wicket. Starkey got one, now we've got another one. Um, this is turning out to be all right, this episode. I've only been recording for about five minutes, we've already got two wickets. But yeah, there's a definitely, definitely a nick there. And Matty Wade gets another catch. bavuma has gone, that's five down, I think, as uh, Dane Villas comes in now. And um, if we can keep him, well, if we can um, actually get this bowl done, there we go. And gets down to it. Um, if we can, I'll show you. They lead by seven at the moment. If we can keep that under maybe 50, um, I'd be pretty happy. Because then it, I mean, it's it's still, you never want to be trailing. But, um, yeah, 50 is pretty good. If we can chase that down, then make a massive target. I'm sure we'll make it. Is that LBW? He might have nicked it. I think I heard a nick. Yeah, definitely a nick there. And uh, that's the over, I think. But, uh, yeah, under 50 and I'll be happy. Rightio, David Warner gave us a bit of a break. We come back a few overs later. South Africa, 6 for 289. They lead by 81. That's not uh, not looking good. We really need to keep that under 100, but it's going to be tough. Four wickets and um, in 19 runs. It's going to be a bit tough, but I'm sure we can do it. Morkel's in. He's faced a lot of balls, not many runs. Uh, Dane Villas is going all right as well. Oh, he's bowled him! What a bowl! Morkel's gone as well! And not the best of innings from him. He's faced 30, 33 balls and he's gone for nine. What a beautiful bowl this is. He was looking to flick this out to the uh, the leg side and he's missed it completely by a fair bit too and it's knocked out legs oh, off stump. How about that? Beautiful bowling. Knocked it out, goes for a couple of spins. And, uh, yeah, there's another wicket gone. Dale Staines in now. We're into the tail pretty much. Now to get Villas out. And then I'm sure the uh, tail won't last very long. But, yeah, we just need to get this guy out, and then we should be right. Come on, there's another one. And it's Dane Villas, too. He's edged it to Matty Wade, and no 50 for him as well. Two 50s that we've denied. Villas and, uh, and uh, who was who else was it? Amlar, I think Starkey got out. They're both gone. And, uh, yeah, it's a no another nice wicket. And uh, Matty White doesn't drop those ones. Kyle Abbott comes to the crease. His first ball. Can we uh, maybe get two in a row? Oh, not quite. I think that might be it. Oh, no, we've got one wicket to go. Um, we've got Kyle Abbott and Vernon Philander at the crease. We could potentially get a fifer after being one for 30. Oh, that's a nice bowl. We could get five wickets in uh, this one episode, or four wickets, I should say. 
It's been great bowling in this one. And if we can get one more wicket, I'll be very happy. Because I think that they lead by 100 yet. They do, exactly 100. So if we can keep them under 1010, or 110, and uh, when we bat again, make about 400, 450. It may be a big ask, but it's, uh, I'm sure we can do it. Um, and if we have a, a, a couple of players up the top order get hundreds and a couple get fifties, it's um, definitely on the cards. And then maybe even Gary could get a fifty himself. That'd be very nice. I think this puts Philander on strike. It does. So we'll have uh, two bowls at him. No, one bowl. Here we go. Can we get him? Can we get him? Bit wide, not the best of bowls. What a bowl! We've got him again! The top spinner! How about the flight on that? Look at this bowl! So much flight! And it just dipped down, smashed into leg peg, or leg stump, that sounds a bit weird. Have a look at it. It might have, it may have even been off stump. I think it was, yeah it was too. So that must have drifted in a little bit, but bloody hell, what a bowl! And that's it, South Africa are gone, and I think I got him for under 110, which is what I wanted. Look at that, they've both got the same bat. But, um, yeah, here we go for our second innings. We really need the top order to go well. And I'm being serious there. We really need them to go well. Because <sighs> in the first innings, Finch got like 72, I think. Don't know why he's even in the team. But we'll simulate. That's a terrible start. Smith got 50. Okay, it's not too bad. I think uh, I'm in 8 for 204. And we lead by... 103 runs. That's not good. Oh jeez, I tell you what, this is this could be um, this could be our first loss of the career mode. That's a nice shot. Good. We'll get a single there. Holy shit, that was close. Nathan was just jogging to the bloody crease. Jesus Christ. We've got Adam Voges up the other end, which is uh, very good to have a batsman with you instead of another tail ender. He's on 58. He's going well, so we need to do good as well. Um, so we can, uh, you know, match him, and if we get out, I feel like I've let him down. That's a good bowl. It's a nice shot. shot. Might be four, actually. It's flying to the fence, and it will be four. Nice shot, Gaz. That's a nice shot. I only get a single, though. He's not generating much power from that uh, that drive. Might need to work on that with the skill points. Um, but Voges, he's going great. 71 now. Um, I think we lead by about 134 last time I checked. And that's the over, so we'll have the strike next over. Um, but yeah, we're going alright. Just imagine if Gary can silence all the critics and get himself 100. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Even a 50, that'd be even... That'd be, uh, that'd be great as well. Jeez, look at that. Huge off-cutter. And uh, that was a nice bowl, actually. But uh, bloody hell, it cut a fair, what, fair bit. Hopefully it doesn't bowl many more of those. Because they're going to trouble us. That should be a single. And it will be. And uh, I think that's lunch. Might be tea. Um, but anyway, well, that's the end of the session. 51 overs have been done. 8 for 247. We're travelling pretty well. 20 off 18. But uh, touch wood, we can keep going. And, uh, you know, make a bigger score. Vodgers, he's looking good for 100. Um, touch wood again. Because I don't want to jinx him and uh, get him out before he's 100. Uh, but look, look at the top holder. I mean... Smith made a good 50, and then there was Bold, uh, Kawaja 22, Warner and Finch, uh, especially Warner, he's in a bit of a form slump at the moment, hopefully he can pick his form up before we uh, play Pakistan, um, two of the Mitchell Starks, uh, one did alright on 14, the other terribly, and um, yeah, Matty Wade 21, not the best, but uh, yeah, going to have to definitely pick it up against Pakistan in the uh, next series. Volander back in the back in the bowling. Nice shot from Gaz. Might be able to pick up two. It's going to be tight. Oh, oh, just got there. Direct hit and he was gone. Luckily, it was just missing. Oh, that's a very risky shot. No single there. That was smashing in the middle stump. Didn't even mean to cut that. But, uh, yeah, luckily, we got a bit of bat on it. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? I've just got Voges out on 83. Oh no. 
I thought it was an easy single. Vo just took a while to get off. Um, look at that. Oh, jeez, that's just hard to watch. I feel so bad for Voges right now. He was looking very good, and he didn't look like stopping at all. Oh, that's terrible. I can't believe they've actually done that. Oh, no. We've just edged it. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll give it to him. That's a, that's a great catch. But, um, yeah, you never want to get out like that. Bloody hell, we're not going to challenge his clear edge. And uh, we finish on 271. And I think, um, looks like South Africa need 170 for victory. Shouldn't be too hard for them. At least we've won the series, so that's good. Um, but you always want to win 3 0. And if we can do that, that's going to be great. But we're going to need some really good bowling. Johnson's going to open it. And uh, we're on very early. We've got a wicket, 1 for 35. We're going to need a couple more, hopefully, before they reach um, 50 or so. Weird shot once again from De Villiers. He's a massive wicket we need to get out because we cannot let him get another 100 because that's just going to uh, just blow our chances of winning. I forgot to check what we made in the end. Um, 32 off 30 deliveries. It's uh, pretty good. I think it's, hang on, it's the second highest score of our innings, which is pretty terrible. Um, but yeah, for a tail ender, for Nathan Lyon, it's pretty good. Uh, we're definitely going to have to improve on that and hopefully... Uh, next time we get to that sort of stage, gonna have to build on it. Okay, guys, I've had a uh, I've had a think about things. Um, South Africa are one for 61, and they only need 171. Um, what I'm thinking I might do is simulate the game, um, and then finish the episode, come back next episode, and uh, jump into Pakistan, and hopefully smash them three 0 just like we did in real life. Uh, so I'm, you might you might disagree with what I'm doing. Um, other, some people might even say it as cheating. Uh, I certainly don't. But yeah, we're going to simulate if I can find it. Um, I reckon it's in match tactics. Simulate. Uh, stop after overs. Off stop a wicket. No. No. Uh, no. So we'll begin the simulation. And uh, yeah, they made it pretty easily. That's the game. That's probably what would have happened if we played it through. Um, but if we did end up playing it through, I might have, I'd probably have to split it up into three episodes, which I just don't want to do. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later um, or in, at some stage. But uh, they win by five wickets. Player of the match, A.B. De Villiers. Um, what a classy player he is. But uh, for now, that's goodbye to South Africa. We've beaten them 2-1. Unfortunately, it wasn't 3-0. But yeah, we still won the series. That's always nice. And uh, next episode, we'll play Pakistan in the first test of uh, three and hopefully, uh, you know, beat them in series as well. That'd be nice. But uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this one, guys, make sure to give it a like and uh, also subscribe for future content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.